court administrator. Page 29, state court judge. Um, I will again make you aware that there is a request for a second state court judge that uh, authorization could come any day, any time. It may not come this year at all. If the authorization is made, I do not know when an appointment would be made. Um, so that is a gray area of question mark that I don't have all the answers for that. And the salary is not included in this at all. It is not. It is not. Um, page 30, solicitor. Page 31, Magistrate Court. Page 32, Probate Court. 33, Juvenile Court. Commissioner, do you want to make any comment about the meeting yesterday? Won't be positive. I'll let me. As a result of our as a result of our meeting. Uh, and at the last meeting, Judge Council requested and you gave authorization for the submission of a juvenile justice grant. The initial meeting was held yesterday with interested parties uh, as well as uh, Judge Council, uh, Commissioner Evans, um, and I asked Paige to sit in on the meeting. Um, and I believe there will be a proposal coming back to um, staff on how to prepare the application. As y'all recall, the application is uh, has a timeline and there are uh, certain mandates as far as reduction. Uh, Judge Council expressed to y'all the concern of establishing the benchmark as what those numbers are because funding will be based on a reduction a percentage reduction, I believe it's 20%. Um, but I would caution everybody to be aware if you do not receive state funding for this program, you cannot continue to do it. I think that's crystal clear in the back page here with the numbers that you see. But as in the past, what has happened, a grant has begun. Funding started, uh, state backs away with their funding, and then the county commissioners are left with certainly you're not going to let this program fall apart. Nobody said, it, well, why does the state start it and then not fund it? But be that as it may. I have a question. Go ahead, Mr. Go on. I was going to wonder, I know we reduced the um, court reporting there, court cost. That's the last line item there. Uh, by from thirty five thousand down to fifteen thousand, I think Stephen, you said that was called a court reporting. What what how are we doing something there to save the money? What's going on? It's not a recording system and so he doesn't have actual court reporting. Uh, person system. there, so he just I'm he doing his own recording. Any comment on But back to the grant. Mm -hmm. I, from my view yesterday, I left early. And um this need a lot but really need a lot of work because in listening, they really need to put some benchmarks there. And I would hate for the county to submit this grant and they don't go through. So it's need a lot of work. We appreciate you helping in that area. One of the things that was identified yesterday is that there's an extremely high rate of recidivism in juvenile court. And the reason being is that um, mental health is a huge problem. Mental health is very hard to diagnose in, in children. Um, some of these children that are being referred to um, <coughs> residential detention centers um, are as young as eight years old. And you, you can't find a mental health protect, uh, professional that will actually diagnose a child that young because it's just too young to see the pattern because of that difficulty. So well, part of what this was discussed yesterday and that Commissioner Evans had some great insight on is making sure that whenever that initial um, decision is made regarding that child's action is that it's the right decision um, because they think that the reason these children are looping back through is that um, what 
corrective measure they're being given initially is not um, what they really needed. And the Juvenile Justice Code um, specifically stipulates that the reason um, for a commitment is for rehabilitation, not for punishment. It's different than the adult system. So they definitely have their work cut out for them. And in the grant, from my understanding, more or less talked about parental involvement. And Rick and I had talked earlier about trying to look at something in these that you wanted to sort of chime in with um, teenage pregnancy. And when you look at the age of the moms and the kids, that's continuing repeaters. It's my understanding that they're supposed to uh, utilize evidence base. Uh, yes, that was and, and that's the key element component. And I'm thinking that they uh, make or break it. Page 34, probation, sir. Uh, 